It looks proper funny, doesn't it? That's the best I can do. Well, that's eventful. Hyaluronic acid intense one week hydration treatment. Yeah, sorry. Caspi the friendly ghost just called. He wants his look back. <laughs> awesome bunch hello hi welcome back to my chanel <laughs> my channel if you're new and you're just joining me hi my name's evie nice to meet you hope you like it hope you stay um but welcome and welcome back if you're not new and you're still watching thank you it means a lot love you lots um so in this video this is my 24 hour birthday get ready with me as it's my birthday party tomorrow and then on Tuesday is my actual birthday so yeah so we're gonna do my hair we're gonna put it in a hair mask so then I can wash it tomorrow and straighten it from extensions in um tan tint my eyebrows shave my face put a face mask on do my nails and try and put some individual eyelashes on if not then we'll just stick to the normal strip eyelashes but yeah um hope you like it and please, please subscribe. Also, do you like this tracky? Do you guys like? Um, it is from Tiger Looks. I have a twenty percent discount code. I will link it right on the screen now. So pause the video if you want to shop till you drop, and use my twenty percent discount code. Um, it's Tiger Looks. You'll find them on Instagram. I will also link their Instagram below. If you want to have a look at some awesome clothes, I do like this tracky though. I've had some nice comments on it today. But yeah, so carry on watching. Okay, so we're back. I've just jumped out of the bath and put a mask on my hair, put it into a braid, tied up the back, exfoliated, done my face. I've already shaved my face because you guys have already seen that, anyways. Um, so next, we're going to do our eyebrows with the Isla London. DIY brow in black. My hair is black. Um, I'm going to do one eye off camera just in case it goes wrong and then I will come back and do the other eye to show you how I did that. Then after that we will do uh, my nails and while my nails are doing I'm putting my whitening strips in and a face mask but obviously I'm avoiding where my brows are and then once my nails are all done I will do my tan and then we're ready for bed. But first obviously the iced coffees are back. Is it even my channel that was iced coffee? So yeah, let's read these instructions and see what we are doing. <coughs> I know, it looks proper funny, doesn't it? That's the best I can do. It looks a show. I know, but yeah. It's my first time doing it. I'm going to draw them on anyways, but just thought I might as well do it. Okay, so first I get the pot of Vaseline and I'm just putting it above and below my eyebrow because you don't want to get the dye onto your skin and it's hard to remove. Obviously I did this in the other step and I've also mixed it already and then I am just rub it in and once that's done I then take a cotton pad and just remove the excess from inside the eyebrow if I accidentally got it in as you don't want the dye to not stick okay what am I doing next? oh okay so I get a bit of the dye on the spoolie and start rubbing it through my eyebrows yep that's the one Look at them sad puppy eyes. I don't know why I always do that, but yeah, it's cool. Keep rubbing it through the eyebrows and topping your spoolie brush up. And 
go in with the fresh clean cotton pad and wipe away any excess above the eyebrow and below the eyebrow like I said you don't want it on your skin even though the Vaseline should have stopped it back in again with them side puppy eyes as usual and then just go through where you can see any sparse areas just to make it a bit darker I'm just cleaning up one more time and then that's it, I think we're done don't they look a bit nicer? not really but we did it okay so I think I've done that one well better than that one like I've stained the skin on that already because I didn't wipe it off properly. Oh well, I've stained my hands. And the games! Okay, so while that's it, I will do my nails. Um, I'm going to put the face mask on tomorrow before I do all my makeup. It should help my skin better, I think. Yeah. Let's get on with our nails. The next day. Morning, guys. Hi, hello. How are we doing? Um, so last night was just a disaster, it was a mess. I was meant to do my nails, but they turned out terribly wrong. So when I woke up this morning, I was like, no, I'm going to phone the salon, see if I can get in and get my nails done. Luckily enough, they have a space. So I'm just outside, I'm going to go and get them done, and we'll see how they turn out. Mwah. Well, that's eventful. I hate wearing these things indoors. Oh, God, such big ears. <laughs> Well, I'll stay to my face. So these are the finished results. Yay! Because my skirt is pink, I got pink and black. Stay to my hands. But yeah, these are the finished results. The claws are back, baby! The claws are back! I love having nails on. I love doing that. Um, now I've just got to go to Superdrug, get tan to my. get. Blah, blah. Get foundation to match my tan and then we will start to get ready one eternity later okay guys so i've got a bit of a confession to make um when i came to edit my videos i noticed that my footage of me doing my makeup on my hair wasn't there so i've had to redo it i admit it's a bit late as you can tell some of my nails have fallen off and they've grown a hell and these two are really really sore um, I know I've left it a couple, couple of days late. I've had obviously my birthday to deal with, and then I've had personal issues, personal issues to deal with. I'll admit my mental health isn't in the best of place, isn't at the best of places at the minute, but I'm working on it. So I've kicked my ass into shape and said I'm filming it and I'm putting it up. So I will redo it all again reopen my birthday clothes and do my hair as if i was doing it then but obviously it's now as you can tell don't judge me i'm sorry i need to get better storage i know but i've washed my hair that's all ready to go straightened it dried it dried it straightened it that's all ready to go i've done my eyebrows um i don't like doing my eyebrows on camera as you all know they look odd, I know. Makeup isn't my best forte, especially on this point. But let's get on with it. Just another quick one before I start. These Hyaluronic Acid Intense One Week Hydration Treatment. They're absolutely amazing. Oh my god. Like, you, there's seven and you put one a day and you just squeeze it on your face, massage it in, and yeah. Sometimes it might leave a little bit of redness, it might burn a little. I've only had the redness, but that's what it says on the packet. If not, it's fine. But yeah, this is my second packet of these. Fab. Only from Home Wagon, but they do work. Um, okay, so we're ready to go. Okay, so let's start with primer. All I use is the matte primer from um, Primark. I won't say Panamon. Panamon? Yeah. I was listening to them before, it's on my birthday playlist. So I just use a bit of that 
get the main areas where I get lines and dry itch and my nerves. Is it just me or does anyone else's makeup seem to not stick on the nose? Can, any tips please? Because like I said, I'm not a makeup artist, makeup is not my strongest point. Look at this. Because I'm stressy, depressy, and my life is very messy. And I need a bit more primer, 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 primer. I'm fuming, as you can tell. I'm fuming because um, we planned our day ready and we were going to book it all. Um, because obviously the bowling alleys were meant to open on the 1st, the 20th of August. Yes, this is really late, I know. I'm sorry, don't shoot me. Like I said, it's personal issues. I'm trying to get in front of the camera and film again has been hard, but it's okay. I keep my hands into shape. I'm back. I need to stay. Um, yes, yeah, so we're going to go bowling. And then from bowling, we're going to have something to eat. Put the bowling eyes on opening now because of this virus again. So we have to replan all day. But I will do a get rid of me date night. Okay, so primer is on. Next, I like to take the PS Dusk Double Dimension Highlighter Drops from Primark. So if you can hear noise, kids playing out. Off school, okay. And with this open, and the girl, you just take a couple of little ones. There. There. Blender. Just. Okay, then I take my Bobbi Brown corrector and it looks like that. A bit used. Put it under the eyes like so. that also a couple bits there and there and there I've got a couple of spots. Next I'm gonna do my eyes, my eyes, my eyes and I'm gonna do a pink with a bit of glitter in the middle and then like a little bit of smoky pink underneath yeah that's what we're doing that's what we're doing so okay so then i'm going to get my bobby brown concealer in the shade porcelain and just put that on the lids like that get a new little blender and just carefully blend that in i've already Cut in around my eyebrows so I have a nice under eye. Then I'm going to take my In Your Elegance Nude palette from, oh, I don't know where that's from, and that's on the second side. And I'm going to use this shade right here, which is Desert Sand, as a base. I'm going to put that all over the lid, like so. I'll do one eye on camera and then one eye off camera, yeah? Okay, just stay to that time. And then you guys don't get more bored of me than what you already are. Okay. And then I'm going in with this bad boy. This is one of the best, most pigmented palettes I've ever used in my life. Oh, the Alexa Stone by Revolution. And if you haven't seen inside of it yet, oh 
la la. I only used it for the first time the other day. And oh, let me tell you, when I mean pigmented, the pink stains for two days. Two days. I couldn't get it off. Which is good, but not so good. And then I'm going to take my Bobby Brown eyeshadow brush and dip into this pink patina. Do I have a name? No, I don't. Take the excess off. And just slowly go in. Don't want to overdo it. Can you see? And then just blend that out like so. If anyone's got any ideas on what I could do with eyeshadow with this palette, please let me know, please, because I would love to know. I might do another rainbow look. I did a rainbow look when I was in Coyote for Pride, and I had loads of nice comments on it. So I might do that again, but just as I can. Like I said, I want to get better. So, okay, now I'm just wiping the excess off of that. And I'm just like going all around. Look how do I thought? I know, that looks horrible. Trust the process. That's what I keep telling myself. Trust the process. Okay, so then I'm going in with my Bobbi Brown Concealer Brush and I love, love, love this Revolution Conceal and Hydrate. It's amazing. I love with it. So I'm just getting a bit on the brush like so. Oh, it's And then what I do. This is going to be hard now because this is what it messed up last time. Going straight. And then all you want to do is just draw a thick. Straight line down the middle, like that, and then I can brush put a bit more concealer on it and go over that line. That's a bit better. Okay. Right. So next we get our glitter glue, and we literally just put that over that line we just created. Like so. That's done for now because we can't do any more until our base is on because I need to do my liner and my eyelashes before I put the glitter on. So I made that mistake of doing the glitter first and my eyelashes wouldn't stick. Like a dummy. So I'm just going to go off camera, do the other eye and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back. <laughs> They look hard, I know. Oh well, sorry. So I've just cleaned it up. Oh my god, sorry. So I've just cleaned the bottom of it. And now it's time for foundation. And I use the Revolution Conceal and Define in the shade, hang on, wrong one, that's my tan shade, F6. All I do is just jab, jab, draw some that, draw some lines everywhere. Oh my god, why are you getting everywhere? Thank you. 
Now I just like to make some lines on my face, as you can tell. So we go like this. Let's go. Just kidding. And then I just take this foundation brush from Summer Bargain and just blend out. Go to town. Dibby, dibby, dibby. I know I ask this in every video, but what have you been up to? Anything nice? I hope. Are you enjoying that little bit of freedom? Oh. Hello? Yeah? Sorry. Caspi the family goes to just called. He wants his look back. <laughs> Why does it look like it doesn't match on there? But in all my mirrors with my lights on, it does. Never mind. Okay, so next I like to take my beauty blender, which smells of roses, and a bit of Revolution Matte Fix, and then just go over and I've just put the foundation, blending it a bit better. And it goes on better with a brush than it does with a beauty blender or oh, blends seamlessly blends seamlessly really yes. that was white before come on <gasps> you take this off no now that that's done and I look like a ghost with bright pink eyes we will do our concealer and contour. So obviously for my concealer, wherever I've just put it, I like to use the Revolution. Bit on the forehead. From the old chinny chan chan. Top there, top there, top there. And then for contour, I like to use this Sculpt and Highlight Contour Stick that I got in some package when I won the bingo. And I just draw. Thin line there, there, there. Try and have my double chin. And then for my nose, what I like to do is I get if I put it in somewhere. Hello. What I like to do for my nose is I like to get a thin brush like this across the edge and then work that down there. This looks a bit of a mess, but I can fix that with the dye. And then I like to contour just under my lip like so like that maybe a bit darker like so and I just let them sit for a bit okay so I think that's it a bit don't you so I'm going to get my beauty blender and I like to pull I see I'm going to do this and just draw some lip scum and makes it better BAM! isn't that horrible? oh well too late so then I like to go over that with some benefit 
Just like that, deepen them chocolate, muddy lines up. Just like that. What I like to do is I like to take my Beauty Blend, ooh, my Beauty Blender brush by Beauty Professional. I just blend that in. It's a contour brush actually. Just like so. Okay, a little bit better, but then I like to take the translucent baking powder by Revolution. Yeah, yeah. And my beauty blender, which this side is like the care side for it, I just put it in a little pot, like so. And then I just underline my eyes where I call the concealer. And then I'm going to just underline the contour. Like so. Actually, get my other one. This one's better. More precise because you get a straight line. Well, it's straight to me. But then again, I'm not straight, so I'm like, no. <laughs> Same on that side. See, look, I'm getting smile lines already. I'm gonna try some reverse bacon. Reverse bacon. Reverse contour. So where we just put that contour line, draw that line down. And that line down and then drag it down the sides of your nose, into your under eye. Like so. Okay. Now we need that to bake all the way down the line. Just define that. I'm gonna leave that to bake and then I want my brush. Okay, so I've just done my eyeliner, some mascara and my eyelashes. And the eyelashes I've used are the Allure Volume. In the green ones, they're from Home and Bargain. As you know, I love that shop. Um, the glue I used was Duo Glue, and my eyeliner I used. I'll just put it there. And the Olivia Hale eyeliner, liquid eyeliner, and then this eyeliner pen I've had for years. Um, and I've also got a bit of mascara on my eyeshadow, but that's okay. So before we dust this bake off, bake off, celebrity bake off, we will do the glitter on the eyes so then if we get any fallout we can just dust it away. I'm always being like a true professional. Glitter glue mm -hmm. um, from Superdrug. The collection Glam Crystals Glitter Glue. And then I'm just going to put it over. That line where we stuck, where we, yeah. Over that line that we've done with our concealer. Okay, so now that's gone all tacky, I just use my glitter, which is one that I've had since I was five. Because obviously I did dance shows, I had to have full glam makeup. Um, so it's just icing, shaking shimmer glitter. That's how old it is. And then I also use this little glowy glitter, which I have no idea what it's called. So I just shake away of that glitter in the lid. Get some of this glitter on the brush. 
dip it into there and then just press it in that line. Ta da! Like so. Evie loves glitter. Pink and glittery, sparkly on the cap. And your cap. I'm just going to put anything. Okay, so now we can dust away all this. And I just use, well, I like to pat it in first. So just pat that in. I find it better, it sits better if you just pat it in. <laughs> then dust all the excess off. Casper still wants his love bag. Looks a bit better. Next is blush out, and I like to mix these two. It's not what they are. I think they're from like 99p store, something like that. I just like them. So I take my chewed up. Bobby Brown blush a brush next to my doggy. I could have killed him. I could have killed him. I broke the other one as well. I love him now. There it is. To the apples. Like so. So I've also had this for years. Rosy, rosy, rosy. Go in with that other one. Just a tad though. And then we go back in with the brush I used to take all the excess off. Like all of that. It doesn't look too bad. So then I just take this little thin brush from the pack I got in Wish, go back in with that pink, just slightly do the waterline. Then I'm going to get that same brush I have with the glitter on, dip it back in the glitter. Pour a bit here. By the way, don't get this glitter in your eye. It really hurts. But it's, it is makeup glitter, but it's glitter. Like now, makeup glitter's come so far. This is. Press that on there, like that. And then we do our highlight. And I use the Maybelline New York Face Studio Chrome Extreme with a bit of the Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter. And I take that and what it is. Ooh, yeah. That's nice. I look like that ice cream. What is it? It's an ice cream called Neapolitan ice cream chocolate in vanilla. Again, I get the Revolution Matte Fix again. Don't get any eye oil off. I don't have a fun in here today. 
do I have to use this? I bought lipstick. And I think I have a bob pink one. Nope, not yet. Oh yeah. Let me see. Like that? Maybe not. And then I take the lips like sugar the lip gloss. Like that. In the middle. Get it off my teeth. And then, now let's straighten my hair, my extensions in, and I will show you the finished look. Be my right back. Okay, so my extensions are in. My hair is straight. I've just clumped it behind for now. Um. So now onto the clothes and the shoes. Okay, so first off, I have a pink skirt. Which is like this. Look. It comes with a zipper. Then we have the top. Baby, it has any irons. Sorry, and then the shoes. Oh, shoes. Damn, girl. Okay, so let's put this on, and this is the finished look, guys. I just paired it with some tights and my boots. Um, I'm saying my crucifix, my rings, this is a three-parter, my watch, my bracelet, and my ears. I'm going to put my hoops in in a bit, but yeah, I want to go to town now. So, if you like this video, please give it a massive thumbs up. And subscribe please 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 love you lots see you in a few Mwah. bye I was a Oh, it's nice actually. It's mango. Ooh, mango. Don't take it. Don't <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my video. Let me let you see me. Uh, yeah. <laughs>